Daylight savings time ends this Sunday while turning back the clock means an extra hour of sleep. Some people feel the change impacts their mood and their health. Dr. Stephen Ferrando is the director of psychiatry at Westchester Medical Center. He has more about seasonal affective disorder or just those winter blues. Good morning, doctor. Great to see you. Good morning. Thank you. So on Monday is going to get darker earlier. The days will keep getting shorter until December. How does getting less sunlight actually affect the body? Correct. Um, so obviously there's a number of things going on. As you said, uh, there's a diminished exposure to sunlight. And we think that that diminished exposure to sunlight affects the brain and among other things affects mood, particularly depression. So tell us about SAD or seasonal affective disorder and when should someone be concerned what they're feeling might be a more serious condition? Yes, so seasonal affective disorder or seasonal mood disorder is a mental health disorder uh, that involves changes in mood, usually depression and anxiety that occur with seasonal changes. Uh, most often, obviously, it's from the transition of summer into fall and winter months, but it can also occur from the transition in, of spring into summer. And if you're feeling a little down, what you do, what should you do to, to feel better? I mean, what do you advise patients? So, so it's important to distinguish between what we call the winter blues and seasonal affective disorder. The winter blues can occur just with what you've all been talking about with the transition in the seasons, the getting back to school, the light dark cycle, it's getting darker, the difficulty in, in making the transition, the anticipation of the holidays. There's a lot of different things going on right now. So that can lead to some changes in mood, some anxiety, anticipation, et cetera. Seasonal affective disorder is a real disorder where people have difficulty functioning, where they have difficulty getting going, they have difficulty with increased sleep, overeating, lots of fatigue, decreased appetite are the most typical, or increased appetite, excuse me, are the most typical symptoms of SAD. I wanted to ask you about this issue with sunlight. What if you can't get more sunlight? Does light therapy work? I mean, what do you think? What do you advise? I absolutely think that all the evidence shows that light therapy helps. So uh, light therapy is one of a few acknowledged and approved therapies uh, for seasonal affective disorder. But essentially, uh, in very simplistic terms, light therapy can extend our exposure to daylight, which we think is one important component of helping to treat this uh, underexposure, so to speak. We've been talking about daylight savings time being controversial. Do you have a professional opinion whether we should keep it year round? What are your thoughts? So I think that what we're talking about, the seasonal changes that do occur, would probably occur anyway, just with the transitions in season. I don't think I'm sort of agnostic in terms of whether or not we should, you know, abolish it based on this issue per se. Dr. Stephen Ferrando, Director of Psychiatry at Westchester Medical Center, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And just a reminder, you should turn your clocks back at 2 a.m. Sunday morning when daylight savings time officially ends or before you go to bed Saturday night.